Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Motion Studio. Today, we're jumping into the cutting edge of AI video generation. It feels like we're seeing a new breakthrough every week, and this time we're comparing two major players, OpenAI's Sora and Tencent's Hunyuan Video. Both are changing what's possible with text-to-video AI, but which one is actually ready to be crowned the king? We're diving deep today, exploring their individual strengths, their weak spots, and ultimately, which model might fit your needs better. Let's kick things off with Sora, the video generation platform that's been dominating the headlines. Powered by OpenAI's GPT tech, Sora generates videos with impressive realism and fluidity. We're talking everything from stunning nature documentaries to absolutely surreal dreamscapes, all from a simple text prompt. Sora, from the folks behind ChatGPT, has definitely captured the AI community's attention. The model's core strength lies in its ability to produce high-fidelity, visually rich videos, particularly in those realistic nature-based environments, turning our most imaginative concepts into moving images. But it's not flawless, and there are some notable limitations to keep in mind. While Sora delivers beautiful visuals, its main challenges are consistency in time. Elements can appear or disappear unexpectedly, and challenges with motion dynamics. We're talking birds vanishing mid-flight or characters switching outfits in the blink of an eye. Plus, the text generation is, to be blunt, unreliable. Text within scenes often makes zero sense. It really struggles with accuracy. Sora truly stands out for its ability to generate exceptionally lifelike visuals, especially in natural settings. Its strength is in that realism and fluidity, and that's where its appeal lies. But it's also important to note it is a closed source model, only accessible through a ChatGPT subscription, which means we have to talk about access. You'll need either a $20 or a whopping $200 a month plan just to access Sora, and the video quality and length is directly tied to the price tier, making it less than ideal if video generation is your sole goal. Now let's move on to Hunyuan Video, a large-scale video generation model from Tencent. Unlike Sora, Hunyuan is a powerful open source model with over 13 billion parameters. This represents a massive leap for open source video generation. Hunyuan is a beast, that is the only way to put it. Developed by Tencent, this model is aiming to bridge the gap between closed source and open source video generation. It uses a hybrid dual stream to single stream transformer design, meaning it can handle both image and video generation within a single system. Its text encoder uses a pre-trained MLLM, which significantly improves text video alignment. Plus, it utilizes a 3D VAE for efficient video compression. The outcome? Videos with top-notch quality and amazing motion, often on par or even surpassing some of the big commercial models. But it's worth noting that its high quality comes with a catch. It requires serious hardware. We're talking server-grade GPUs and a hefty 45 to 60 gigabytes of VRAM just for high-resolution inference. Hunyuan really shines in its ability to produce exceptionally smooth and realistic motion with some complex camera effects. It's often outperforming even the closed-source models, such as Runway Gen 3, in both visual quality and diversity of movement. However, that performance needs a powerful hardware setup. If you're not running a server-grade machine, you might see some compromises in your video quality. It needs 45 to 60 gigabytes of VRAM to work at its best. If you don't have the hardware at your disposal, consider using cloud services like FAL.ai, Replicate, or RunPod that can handle that heavy lifting for you. Let's get into the head-to-head -head comparison. Starting with image quality and realism, both models do exceptionally well with natural scenes. That's where they excel, as you can see from the clips. But in more complex prompts, we start seeing each model's limitations. Sora struggled to maintain consistency with the dog, while Hunyuan has some issues with the motion of the dog itself. When it comes to abstract content, Sora can really let loose and create something quite unique. However, Hunyuan struggles to achieve the same surreal feel. This is where Sora really has the edge. As for text generation, both models consistently struggle with accuracy. Both models end up creating nonsensical or inaccurate writing. This is an area that's definitely in need of improvement. So from these examples, we can see each model has different strengths and weaknesses. Hunyuan can be more consistent with better motion, 
whereas Sora is particularly good with surreal, complex imagery and has incredible realism. Let's look at this in terms of practical use. Sora is best suited for experimental and abstract visuals, particularly when you're exploring nature or surreal concepts. On the other hand, Hanyuan's high-quality and stable video generation excels in more professional settings. Hanyuan's key strength lies in the motion. It delivers far smoother and more consistent movements, making it ideal for high-quality content intended for professional use. But the high-performance requirements could prove to be a challenge for many creators. Now, no AI is perfect, so let's talk about the quirks. Sora is known for its consistency issues, with characters sometimes changing, disappearing, or acting strangely. Complex character interactions and storyboards also fall short of what we expect, and the image-to-video feature isn't one of its strong points. Hunyuan also has its problems. It can be difficult to get the result you want without fine-tuning your prompts, and there are occasional morphing effects during fast motion scenes, and it struggles with high action content. AI video generation is still evolving, and these tools aren't magic. They can both deliver fantastic results, but can also make significant mistakes. What's the future like? Well, both are rapidly evolving thanks to the communities around them. Hunyuan's open source approach is fostering rapid development through community contributions. We're already seeing custom nodes for tools like Comfy UI, consistency distilled models, and more. And while Sora is closed source, a community has built up around the tool, testing it and showing off what it is capable of. This competition is pushing AI video generation forward very quickly. We're seeing constant releases with models like Runway and Kling offering alternatives and new models appearing every month. So which model is best for you? Well, if you're a professional creator with server level resources or access to cloud services, Hanyuan offers fantastic quality, consistency, and flexibility with its open source nature. Sora excels with creative, surreal, and nature-based scenes, making it great for inspiration, but its high cost and limitations might be a hurdle. So who's taking the crown? Well, there's no definitive winner at this stage. Both Sora and Hanyuan have their own unique strengths and weaknesses, and they both represent a giant leap in AI video generation. This competition is what will fuel the next stage of innovation in the sector, meaning the benefits of both models will soon be available to everyone. AI video is blurring the lines between reality and imagination, and we're only just scratching the surface of what this tech will mean for content creators. So what are your thoughts? Which model impresses you the most? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth AI breakdowns. Until next time, Stay creative, and I'll see you in the next one.